everyone. Thanks for joining us here on Go Local Live from the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. Thanks so much for joining us. Tyler James Kelly of the Silks is here. How you doing? Good. Thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me back. Um, you're ready to jam, right? Sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> so we're super excited to have you. You guys have a lot going on. Um, coming up New Year's Eve at the Met, which I'm super excited to talk about that, and then a whole host of other stuff. But first of all, let me say congratulations because the band has won for two times in a row, back-to-back -back years, the Boston Music Awards has named you um, the best blues band. How about that? It's pretty cool. So when you were here last time, you were talking about what that meant to you, but then you guys won again. Talk to me just a little bit about that honor and what it's like for you. Uh, it's, I think it's still a surprise, uh, but a cool honor nonetheless. Uh, um, obviously, we're from Providence, so being welcomed in, in the area of Boston and recognized as players is very cool and uh, humbling. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me a little bit about what's coming up for you all. Um, you're looking at, we'll talk about the New Year's Eve show coming up, but talk to me about what's happening with music-wise. Uh, we're just doing a run up a lot of writing and uh, we'll be back in the studio in a few weeks um, which we're excited about um, a lot of new new things in the works and hopefully a tour this summer so we'll get all those new tunes out to you over uh, over the course of the new year that's exciting yeah so what does that look like then what's the process look like so we're probably doing increments of two songs which uh, it's not we used to just go in and make the whole album and it's just a lot of micromanaging. Um, say, like, if you had 11 songs for an, al an album or whatever, um, it's just a lot of work, and you're just trying to bang it out. Uh, this this way here, we're doing two at a time. We're, you know, taking our time with them, kind of having more fun with them, relaxing and trying more things, uh, maybe that we wouldn't have tried if we are on, on a clock. You know, so that that's exciting. I mean, I think the music process is so can be so different these days like you don't have to you don't have to be under a deadline you don't have to be under someone else's schedule you can put out music however you want to yeah for better or for worse you know like this poor studio guys you know you can just build a studio in your closet now and it sounds competitive and really good so um, but you know there's another side to that coin too these guys are really like certain cats are really schooled and um, have good gear and whatnot make it sound good I think you can sound pretty good doing your own thing. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so we're looking at maybe starting January for new music? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what's the best way people can find you? Uh, unfortunately, probably the Facebook or, or the silksmusic.com is uh, currently just, it's very current and always updated. Um, I make sure of that. So. And then coming up, um, you are opening for somebody pretty well known. This is pretty. So when you do, when I found out this, when I opened up my email, <laughs> you hit me with a text saying, "Yeah, look at your email." I was like, "What? It's something coming up in February?" Uh, G Love, yeah. The the irony is, I I still I don't know. I've oh, really? I've never personally heard of him, and everybody knows of him. And I was. It sounds like a pretty pretty good time. So I, I like to say yes to a good time, you know. So, but we, we're really appreciative of the opportunity and um, the House of Blues in Boston oh, will, so will be cool. great and uh, it'll rock, it'll rock. So. Uh, I think that's going to be a super fun time. So let's talk a little bit about coming up at the Met. You guys are playing a big New Year's Eve show. This is going to be so fun um, with the Copacetics as well. Mm -hmm. My, our friend Aaron Abrahams and Coty, um, mm -hmm. he's so fun as well. Yeah, he's great. I, this is just going to be a good show. Yeah. It'll be fun. It's a little eclectic, but we're actually, we love those shows because, it, I mean, that's how shows used to be that you read about back in the day, you know, the 70s or whatever. Just, we're just playing music, so um, just different flavors, I think, makes it fun. And we, as a band, we personally enjoy uh, that difference within the show. I don't want to see the same thing yeah. one after, you know, so... So what do you think people can expect if they're signing up and they're like, oh, what do I want to do on New Year's Eve? I mean, I think this is, this well, is going to be so fun. Yeah, it's, first off, the Mets just fun. It's a lot of space, so uh, I think both bands, it's fair to say that we cater to a dancing audience. So with that space, it's cool. And, um, you know, big long bar, get you served, and uh, sounds good. We get to turn up a little bit, so 
It's going to rock. I mean, it sounds like a cool New Year's Eve show. And um, I also saw Narragansett's 127th anniversary. Oh, yeah, they that's right. They just jumped on, which is great. Another local kind of cool cool thing to have. So. I mean, all local, all yeah. about a good time. Local throwdown. <laughs> I mean, I don't think, I think the best thing about New Year's Eve is just being able to, if you can hop on some live music, I think that's probably the most fun, mm -hmm. the most fun you can ever have, so why not? Um, what time does the show start? I think it's 9, 9.30. Okay. So, pretty standard. So, head on in. Yeah. Pre-game at home. Come on down. And go visit. Pre-game with I know a, dinner. <laughs> I think a couple of my family members are bringing a shuttle bus, which is pretty cool. So fun. Pretty smart. But I guess, you know, Uber and whatnot is going to be a mess, so. So grab a Gronk bus whatever. and come on down. Yeah, whatever you got to do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. That's going to be so fun. Okay, so we'll, we'll look for that. We'll look for, uh, and you said possibly a tour. What are you guys looking at for a tour? I will probably get back down south again, uh, which is always fun. Uh, see some friends I haven't seen in a while and and obviously new music um, as the whole incentive to get back on the road just have fresh things and fresh things to sell and new stories and growth and all that stuff any place in particular you're looking to head um, out gonna kind of hit up quite a bit probably hit the Carolinas a little bit more than we were used to um, try to make our way down to Georgia um, most likely we'll go to back to Nashville. And I don't know if we'll get to Texas. I love Texas so much, but I beat it up quite a bit in last March, so who knows? We'll see, we'll see if we make it back for yeah, yeah. the next round. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to step out of the way. That's why I'm standing here for easy escape. Uh, what are you going to play for us? Uh, it's a new tune I got for you that I just wrote. It's called All I Do. Cool. All right. I'm going to let Tyler James Kelly take it away. I'm 
that, that's all I have for you today. All right, cool. So, thank Love you. it. Thank you so much. It's so good. Um, do you want to work out one more week? We can fit that in you if you want. You okay? Sure. Yeah. I can. Uh, that's we'll be in Boston tonight, so. All right, so you also, because you're so musically talented, Jeez. right? Um, you kind of have this other band gig going on, Cowboy and Lady. Talk to mm -hmm. me about that. So it started kind of just for fun around the house. Um, actually, it's still just for fun. That's kind of the thing about it. Um, we just played music for our dogs, my lady and I. <laughs> we, have, we have two huskies, and they're, it doesn't matter how sweet the song is or or whatever the song is, they always think we're playing metal in like mosh, <laughs> mosh pit in the living room. So it's fun. That's how it started. And uh, we both love, and I have a ton of classic country records. So um, it started just doing covers and stuff and silly, silly, quirky uh, country songs, you know. And then we just started playing out. Some uh, friends had said, you know, it sounds good, you ought to play out. So we did. And people love it. It's and your dogs still love it. And the dogs are, yeah. Your they, dogs are your groupies? Yeah, they really are. They're the best. My best friends. Yeah. That's awesome. And you guys have a show tonight, too. Yeah, we're playing Loretta's Last Call tonight with these Wild Plains. They're a killer band from Boston. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome that you, you have time to not only... We call them date nights. Just a little bit, you know. That's, cool. that's really neat. <laughs> you get, yeah, you get paid on date night? That's pretty hip. Right, that's like how to do it. Do you still, let me ask you this as a musician. I mean, people do this for work, but are you still able to have fun doing it? I mean, obviously you oh, made a project out of it. I think that's first yeah. for, for us, definitely. I mean, it, it's hard to get paid if you're not having fun, yeah, honestly. Sure. It's just, mm -hmm. a, it's a mess of, of uh, um, people can feel that, that energy. So, it's just fun to play and get better at playing and writing and whatever, all that stuff. That's cool. Well, it sounds like you have a good time. Uh, awesome. Check them out. The Silks, they have a show New Year's Eve at the Met. It should be a good time. Also, they're going to be um, in Boston uh, at the House of Blues, which is so cool, coming up February 2nd as well. And hopefully you'll come back and play for us again. Oh, um, pretty soon. I've talked about that. So we're wrapping up here. Go Local Live <laughs> in the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. Kate Nagel takes over here in just a few moments. Thanks again for watching. Be safe, and I will see you tomorrow and I will see you tomorrow.